Hey guys, this is Eric Meek from uh, www.finalcutstudioschool.com and I got a specific letter about a tutorial in Shake so this is for a certain uh, watch watcher of my videos that wanted me to show him how to work with the morph tool inside of Shake it's going to be a real quick dirty lesson and it's, you can do this a lot better and a lot more precise and make it look a lot better than what I'm doing here this is just a quick overview uh, so really nobody else needs to watch this if you're not interested in watching Shake and how it works. This is really just for, for this fella here. Um, so I'm going to start by bringing in some uh, footage to work with. A lot of people try to bring footage into Shake and they'll go over here to the load and save up here in this corner and they'll try to bring in movies and they just can't get it. And they're like, why can't I get it? Well, you got to go down here under your image tab and click the file in node. And this will allow you to bring in your media. Now this is a totally different layer than what you're used to. You'll have to browse through it and just experiment and look for it. And you'll want to look for uh, the uh, users or volumes. And it'll list your users. And it'll have your folders under your username. And you can go through. You'll just have to experiment with this because it's a totally different setup than what you're used to with Apple. So let me go scroll through here, and uh, like I said, I'm not trying to be real precise about how to input port files, so uh, just bear with me here. Let's see if I can find the files we're looking for. I'm trying to, here we go, there's one, right, this one, I'll click OK, and there they are. this brings in our files so I need to fit this down the screen so I'm gonna go to my transform tab highlight one of my pictures to where it turns green hit my fit node and this will allow me to change the resolution I'm gonna change it down to um, 640 by 480 as you can see right here 640 by 1536 I'm going to change it to 640 by 480 that's what the fit node allows me to do let me just scroll this down here so we can get down to uh, 480 you'll see the canvas dynamically update as I adjust these dimensions I'm just clicking and dragging inside the box if you're wondering how I'm changing it Okay, now we got this one set to 640 by 480. I'm going to uh, do the same thing with the other picture. So I'm going to double click it in and add a fit node. And I'm going to bring it down to uh, 640 by 480. Okay, here's 640. I noticed the one on the right here moves a little slower than the one on the left and I'm not sure why that is but um, it sure as heck takes a little bit longer to get where you're going it seems but we're almost there now okay now 430, 445, 462. Now, for 480. Now, both of our pictures are set to 640 by 480, the same size. That's how you do that in case you're bringing in two images that are not the same resolution. So now we have our two images. I'm going to double click the fit node so it'll load it into the viewer and, and what it looks like. I'm going to go to my warp tab. Now the guy who's this is for probably can follow along with this a little easier than most people. This is for somebody who actually has fooled with Shake before. It, it, it assumes kind of you got a little bit of prior knowledge. So go to your warp tab, dude, and uh, click the morpher node, and that will add the morpher node. Then bring your noodle from your fit to node on your other picture and down and connect it in. Now double click the morpher node to double to load it into the viewer. Now if you go right here, you'll see this little pop up it'll say morphed image you want to click that and go to source image now we need to draw some shapes we're going to draw some shapes 
on the face here. So I'm going to click this little button here. And I'm going to start drawing some shapes. So I'm going to draw a shape here around the eye. I'm just going to do this really fast. Remember, I'm not taking any pains. But the more pains you take with it, the better off you're going to be. And I'm going to finish that shape. I'm going to click it again and draw another shape around the other eye. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to draw a shape around the mouth. And maybe get a little bit of the chin. Okay, now let's add another shape. Let's do the nose and eyebrows. Now, as I said, I'm being really fast with this. So, uh,. You all can definitely do a better job than me. Okay, now let's do maybe another shape here. Let's do a shape um, around the forehead. Now remember, if you want to make a curve, you click and drag, just like in motion. Now, I guess we could draw a couple more shapes, maybe um, one around the, some around the cheeks, maybe, or down around here around the chest area. So let me do that real quick. Draw a square here and, and section off the cheek. And I'll do one more and do the other cheek. Looks pretty confusing, huh? This is pretty pretty advanced stuff so like I said if you don't know a little bit about shake maybe you just enjoy watching this kind of thing okay now we got all of our shapes drawn so now I want to go back into our tab here and I'm going to select target image and that will overlay all the shapes we just made onto our other image so I want to right click shape visibility hide all shapes we're going to do this one at a time so now right click again shape visibility start with shape one to show shape one and as you can see it just it'll show our shape one and this is the one we put around the left eye so I wanted to uh, right click in the center of this shape we made and scroll down to duplicate and connect shape and this will make it turn blue now I'm going to take this blue shape and drag it around the new eyeball on this picture like that right there and I'm going to right click go back to my shape visibility and go down to shape two and here comes shape two in right there. I'm gonna right click, duplicate and connect shape. And I'm gonna drag this up around her eye. This is my little girl if you're wondering who the picture is. Okay, right click again, let's go on down to shape three. This was the shape we had around the mouth. So we're gonna right click in the center and duplicate and connect. And we're going to drag it all the way up here to the mouth. And we're going to drag these little, the, these make them bigger and smaller and this rotates it. So I'm going to adjust these around like this until it fits around her mouth. Like that. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Okay. I'm going to right click. Let's go down to shape four. Let's continue on down. This is the one we made of her. Um, nose and stuff. Now if it's getting a little confusing you can right click and go hide all shapes and then come back in and highlight shape 4 which is the one we was on and we'll just we can see just that. So now we'll right click in the center of it and say duplicate and connect shape and we'll drag this over here like this rotate it around and spin it we're definitely gonna have to adjust the size so I'll shrink it down like this. Okay, there's that. Now we've got that shape. And so it's shape visibility. Go on down to shape five. This is the shape we had on her forehead. So we'll right click, duplicate, and connect. We'll drag it down. I'm going to shrink it, spin it. And we're going to make it fit on her head. Like that, right there. Shape visibility. Let's go on down to shape six. Now this is her cheek. So let's right click, duplicate and connect just like last time. 
we will adjust this shape a little bit and make it smaller to fit and we'll drag it up like so and I think we just got one more right click shape 7 right click duplicate and connect shape and we'll bring this one up to her, this cheek here twirl it around like that and bam now it looks like a rat's nest I know but don't worry we're not done so my project is a 45 frame project so I'm gonna go back to frame 1 but before you do that go back to your little thing your little pop-up menu here and select morphed image now take your playhead to frame 10 make sure your keyframe button is on which is right here now go over here in your parameters tab you will have overall dissolve and overall displacement you want to click the key and the check mark make sure that's turned on and, and lock them together so that will set a keyframe at frame 10 now move your playhead to frame 40 and move these sliders here all the way up like that bam now that should do it now what we want to do is render out a flip book so we can see what it looks like so I'm gonna go hit my flip book right there there's a lot more adjustments that's just one slider there's a lot more adjustments to do that you could make to do this to make it look better and uh, this is just a quick rundown of how to do this so let's let it run through and um, render out a flip book um, and uh, I'm going to edit through this edit it out and uh, when I come back it'll be unrendered and I'll show you the finished product and show you how to render it out into a dot movie file so uh, I'll be back at you in a second okay now that we've got it rendered out let me show you what it looks like I'm going to play it back now remember this is just one slider adjustment no fine adjustments no other nodes added this is just quick and dirty you can do this to make it look like Michael Jackson's black and white video if you want to. It's that good. So let me play this back and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just a quick morph into the other picture. Now you can make it more extreme. I could morph her into a tiger if I wanted to. You know, it, it's really just all depends on how much time you want to take with it. Now that we've got this finished, how do we render it out to a movie? Okay, well, go back to your image tab. And this time, instead of file in, make sure your morpher node is selected. Select file out. This will bring up a dialog box. This will be where do you want to save it. So I'm going to scroll back. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name it morph. But with shake, you can't just name it. you got to give it the extension. If you put dot .mov, it's going to render it out as a dot .mov. If you put dot AVI is going to render it as AVI, so I'm going to put the name of the file .mov and say OK. Now that didn't do anything. That just uh, add, just added a morph uh, a uh, out node right here. That's so all it did is that's that's my out node. So now what I got to do is go up to render, render file out nodes. This little render box will come up. Click render. It brings up my flip book, starts rendering the disk, and when it's done, I got a quick time movie right here, and I'll play it for you. There she goes. My little girl morphing from one pick to the next. So, uh, guys, this has been a really long shake tutorial on the morph node. I hope you learned something. And uh, we'll see you next time.